Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Recess, Moment in History, and I'm here at the original Mueller Brass Company and Foundry in Port Huron. Now in 1893, Hieronymus Mueller established the H. Mueller Manufacturing Company in Decanter, Illinois. His company grew over the years and was later developed into a partnership with his six sons. In 1917, the youngest son, Oscar Mueller, convinced his brothers to open a commercial brass foundrings operation in Port Huron. This facility was established as the Mueller Metals Company as it primarily produced brass and rod for the production of ammunition in World War I. During the years following the war, Mueller Metals manufactured high-strength brass forgings and gears, bearings and pumps used by manufacturers and mechanical devices. The company was also a leader in development of brass valves and fittings for an emerging refrigeration industry. Then in 1923, the company introduced soft copper tube for underground supplies, and the next year, hard copper tube for indoor water supplies. This was the mark of the beginning of the Mueller Metals leadership role in the development of new plumbing and flow control products. In 1924 and 1927, Oscar Mueller gained full possession of the Mueller Brass Company. The Mueller Brass Company introduced the world's first solder type fittings under the Streamline brand in 1930. The plumbing industry would be changed forever. This development eventually led to all copper plumbing and heating systems becoming the industry standard. In 1935, Oscar Mueller sold his interests to the Atlas Corporation and announced his retirement in 1936. When World War II broke out, Mueller again returned to the war effort by producing naval brass fittings and seals. Following World War II, the Mueller Brass Company continued to develop through acquisitions and internal growth. In 1965, the Mueller Brass Company merged with the U.S. Smelting, Refinery and Mining Company, also known as USRAM. The merger was so profitable that the company was able to aggressively introduce new products, modernize old facilities, and build new plants. The Port Huron Rod Mill was a modernized, doubling its copper alloys capacity. The company also constructed a modern tube mill in Fulton, Mississippi, which included a 630-ton automotive extrusion press. Mueller also diversified, introducing a new line of plastic pipe and fittings. USRAM changed its name to UV Industries, Inc. in the early 1970s. Mueller Brass Company acquired operation in Huntsville, Tennessee to produce refrigeration and air conditioner components. In 1991, Mueller Industries moved its world headquarters from Port Huron to Wichita, Kansas, selling its main building to the Port Huron Area School District to be used as their main offices. For Moment in History Extra, hey, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you all that history lives in all of us.